Hey guys, this is Ricky from Ricky's Pretties, and today I just wanted to show you guys a quick flip through of a journal that I've been working on. So this is not a tutorial, and the reason it's not a tutorial is because there's so many other tutorials out there on YouTube. There is literally a plethora of information out there on how to do journals, and there's people out there that are so much better than I am at this, so I figure I would link a few of the people that I like to watch. Uh, they're my favorite YouTubers for journal making. You can learn a lot from these guys. And um, there's, there's some things that we do very similarly, like textured paper, but there's other things that we do totally differently. And I learned a lot from them and some of the techniques that I have learned I featured in this journal. So anything that's in here that you wanna learn how to do, you can learn from the three people I'm gonna link below one of them her name is johanna she's absolutely amazing the other one her name is natasha and she has a channel called treasure books and then the last one that i like to watch is called g Kerr. she makes so many beautiful things they all do um so i hope that you'll check out their channels um they deserve a lot of credit um because they are so awesome but anyways without uh, further delay i'll go ahead and get to the flip through of mine um, I've decided to put a muslin closure on it with a bow. Um, this will allow expansion, so whoever gets this can just fill this up and crocodile it out and make it expand, and they'll still have room to close this. They could just tie it in the knot if they need to. It's got some lace going around the outside. And then I've also embellished this with um, beads and charms. I have made some of these beads myself. I've made... Um, these are paper beads and these are fabric beads. There's videos all over the internet, all over YouTube about how to do that as well. Um, a lot of these little charms I got from my friend Debbie at Kiki's Sale. So I'll link her channel um, or her, her page rather down in the description box as well as um, the links to the YouTubers that, that I just told you guys about. Um, this is one of the things I got from her. Um, there's also little flower charms got these little flower charms from her now some of these things like this dragonfly I got off of a necklace that I tore apart and so another thing I like to do besides shopping at Kiki Sale is I do um, frequent the thrift stores in my area for jewelry jars um, deals on jewelry and I'm not shopping for things I can wear I'm shopping for things that I can go home and tear apart and make things out of and that's that's where a lot of these beads came from that I'm using on my charms here and it's also where uh, this vintage fabric came from I found a huge bag of vintage fabric great find um, at one of my thrift stores um, so I I go thrifting a lot of the times for some of my craft supplies and um, this is like a little soapstone bead that is actual stone. It's not plastic, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, this is another little stone. Um, let's see here. More natural stones. This little frog charm I got from my friend Debbie at uh, Kiki Sale, and also this little flower charm that's another color. And let's see here. Oh, this little bird's nest I got from Debbie. And all these little beads. There's a, paper, there's a cloth bead that I made. Little key charms buttons there's a little tassel here more uh, paper beads and pretty little stones and beads just all kinds of little things on here for my charms for my book jewelry and then i'm gonna go ahead and open this up take this off and show you the cover and the cover is patchwork um, and this is glued down with Fabri-Tac, which I finally bought after watching Lori Knowles with her Happy Birds Glitter Nest channel, which I'll link down below as well. Um, she's always using Fabri-Tac, and I finally got to try it, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I think I used up almost an entire bottle making this journal. Um, and this is vintage lace here and here. And then this isn't covered up by lace so you can kind of see the patchwork that I did on here the patches are glued down but then I did sew around them so that they are not going anywhere they are glued to a muslin backing which I then glued to my box which is a cake box and then this is the inside we'll start the inside flip through this is um, the inside cover there's a pocket here 
This is a handmade envelope with a little writing space here. I like to tea stain my own papers and that's what I did with all of these. And this is just a little space where you can journal and tuck that away inside here where it's nice and hidden from prying eyes. And there's some stickers, some little fabric swatches, and a lot of these little lacy bits that I have in here in this little leaf. Uh, there's This whole journal contains elements like that. And a lot of that lace and most of the embellishments I got uh, that I, most of the little bits and pieces that I used to make the embellishments rather came from my friend Debbie at Kiki Sales. So I've got to give her credit there too. And this is some baking paper. This is some cardstock that I embellished with lace and that can hold a cute little picture. This is a writing space. I have done some um, stenciling throughout this journal and then this is a little tag. Has a little embellishment held on with a brad. There's a sticker up here. And then we have on this page just some journaling space, some more stenciling. We've got a doily, a teaspoon doily here. A little fabric swatch and then some ephemera with some more stenciling up here a little butterfly stickers this has kind of a garden theme so i did stick with with a garden theme for this journal this is lace bound paper that i've tea stained lace and i've embellished this side and then this is a handmade envelope held together with a doily and some a tag with um, part of an applique on there real pretty can tuck inside there and then you can journal here you can actually journal on the whole envelope there's a piece of ephemera tucked inside here that you can either stick down somewhere or journal on and you can tuck other little pieces in there whatever you like and then we'll just move on this is a little space for journaling these butterflies are so pretty i got these from my friend debbie at kiki's sale and then this is an envelope that I decorated. And this is another little doily. This is a tag, again, embellished with a little brad. And so cute. And this is a little, this little belly band I made out of my um, paper snippet that I made in my last, in one of my other videos where I made textured paper. Um, this is part of that uh, snippet that I made. And this is a pocket where you can tuck things in. Writing space. I like to leave a lot of writing space in my journals because, you know, people like to make it their own. They can add things and tuck things in wherever they like. And there's a sticker up here, some more stenciling, some lace. This lace I got at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. And then this is a paper clip that I fashioned. Um, I think one of the um, ladies that I um, mentioned in... Um, in the description box. I can't remember which one, but one of them does this too, and that's where I got that idea, so I'll give credit to whoever that was. And then this applique with a little tag here, and then this is an envelope that flips up, and so you can write here and then tuck that away. Put your little paper clip tuck back on there. It just kind of goes like that. And then Tuck that back down inside. More doily, writing space over here, some ephemera, another little place for a photo. And then this, this turned out cool. I didn't embellish this because it kind of looked like cow print to me and I thought it was cute. This is just how that tea stained paper came out and I thought it was really interesting. So I left it alone. I did uh, stencil this side of it though. And then this is some of that textured paper that I made with napkins. And um, any napkin you can use. Um, I think I got this one from my friend Debbie. Um, and then I have stenciled this side of the paper. It's kind of, it's thick, so it's nice. You can stick things to it. More doily. And this is the other part of the, um, the snippet that I made, the paper snippet. I made another belly band going this way. And this cute little tag with the embellishment held on by a gold safety pin with some writing space on the back, a space for a little photo if you want to put one there. And there's more room for more tags here as well. And some writing space and some fabric swatches, a little stamping here and there, another paper clip and another fold out. 
so you've got extra room there for your journaling and then I've got a little window here an envelope window with some tags cute little tags tucked inside this was um, trim from my friend Debbie's last sale um, and it used to have a pearl in the middle but I took the pearl off because I wanted to put a button on it shame shame <laughs> <laughs> you just modify everything around here and I'll tuck that inside and this is a little paper tablet that I made I sewed these on I do um, embellish with stitching as well I will sew around some of my pages I do like to do that and I love vintage postcards this is an element I love to add in my in the journals that I create because I just love them so much. I think they're beautiful. They have beautiful artwork. And this one says many happy returns. And guess what? It's blank on this side. So you can write whatever you want on here. Isn't that amazing to find a postcard this old? Look, it holds a one cent stamp um, that is not written on, that you can write on yourself. How cool is that? And then this is a little tag with a little mini tag. Isn't that cute? It's such a little mini little butterfly little doily and this is a pocket that i made from a plastic bag that i had and this is a little lace embellishment coloring page this is the center of our center um of our center what do you call it signature i can't think today i'm tired joan sorry um and it's got butterflies on it with some little flowers to go with our garden theme and this is the other side of the bag with another little pocket here. And I've got another vintage postcard here. And this is one of my favorites. It says it's got a poem called The Language of Flowers. And then this one is written on. And it's dated 1909. And I thought the handwriting was so cute. It reminds me of my Nana. And it says Mrs. Minnie Higgins of Neodesha, Kansas. I think is how you say that. I'm not sure because I've never been there. But... <laughs> that's where it's from and then I've got a paper clip with charms on it and then this holds a tag and another little paper tuck that you can write on and then when you get done writing on your tea stain paper tuck you can just stick it back in here with your little tag and that will just hold all of your little secrets and then I've got another page with some fabric embellishments and some cardstock embellishment here and this is another little tuck where it's got space to write on an embellished paper clip with a charm and this is an envelope so there's a pocket here for that oh, my little charm came off but this is how you do this you just uh so i can show you how to do this you just get your little charm and all you do is slip it on here there's my little thing i don't have my glasses on you guys so this might be a little experiment and craziness right here but you just slip that you get you a charm and you just slip it on there see just like that so easy easy peasy and then we'll put that back on there and then this is some journaling space another little paper place to write on and then a spiral clip holding this in place this is a flip up where you can do some more writing and journaling you can add um journaling up here or you can put a picture there whatever you want picture can go here and i hand painted this on here along with some stenciling this is the doily um i think i meant oh no this is the back side of that other of the paper that i made and i did some hand painting here as well and then this is another handmade envelope with a little tag and some little um, little lace pieces here that I got from my friend Debbie. And this is a little fold out here for your journaling space that's held together with a bow, with a ribbon bow. This is some more textured paper that I made. And I've stamped a little bit of, of images, just some light images on the back. A little butterfly stamp, a lace tag, a little fabric swatch, some more stamping up here, and this is another coloring page. I did some stenciling and stamping on this page. It's got little um, little key charms on this paper clip, and this paper clip holds together another tag 
and the little fold out for writing and journaling on. We'll just kind of leave that off. And then this side has a, a little envelope window and a tag tucked inside. And then we'll flip this over. There's another little charm. And this holds together a, um, a lace topper for this paper pad that I made. This will hold journaling space or a photo. And then this flips out. And then you've got a tag here inside the pocket of this envelope. And then you've got another tag here inside this little belly band lace belly band that's sewn around and stenciled on both sides and here's a large space for journaling and photos that's one of my favorite parts favorite elements of this journal and then i've got uh, some more hand painting here and this is cool i think it was natasha from treasure books that showed everybody how to do this this is a little envelope with paper inside this is a um a dictionary page that i got this is naturally aged too i was so fortunate to find this dictionary at um, my local thrift store the pages are naturally yellowed and old and aged um, it was a hardback dictionary and I tried to get you know I tried to put positive words in here like family and fancy but then here over here fanged <laughs> so they so were fang in here but in this cool you can tuck all kinds of little things in here and you can remove this and take it with you or you can put it in other parts of your journal so you can use this space for something else I just love that. I love this idea. And this lace I got from my friend Debbie at Kiki Sale. And this is vintage fabric. And then here is another little lace tuck with a postcard inside. And see, these are just so beautiful. This one is from 1913 and it is written on as well. So you can leave the writing there um, for interest or you can cover it with something and journal on the back of it yourself. And then here's the other side of our coloring page. Then we've got some more lace here, lace doily. Another little page with some stamping on the edge just to add interest and of course our little butterfly. Here's a little bee that I painted after I stamped it. And then this side of my um, textured paper I've stamped with some little flowers and some vines. And then this is our last page. It's got a handmade envelope with some ephemera and some hand painting and, stint and little stamping here. And a cute little tag to go in there. And then on the last, on this back side, there is some stenciling and some stamping here and another lace pocket. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through, this quick little flip through of this journal that I've made. I hope you get inspired to make one yourself. Please check out the links that I've provided down in the description box below so that you can get started learning some of these techniques if you don't already know how and you can create something yourself thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you next time bye bye